there is one more interesting concept in the dependency injection and that is the use factory so if i click on this providers go inside this provider here we are having this factory provider let's see what we have over here so in this factory provider we need to provide of course the provide and this is called as the token now let's see what we have in this factory sense provider we have the implementation over here and here we have this use factory and this time notice that this use factory is a function we also have the DEPS and this is basically called as the dependencies if we need to provide any dependencies in this use factory then we define all of them over here and this use factory is a function it means this factory provider needs or expect and function let's try to learn how can we use this use factory before implementing the use factory method let's understand what is the need of this use factory let's say you have a scenario where you need to apply a logic before creating the instance of a service then in that scenario we can use this use factory let's see how it will work so i'm going to apply this logic on the counter service as of now in this application we have created two counter services the first is this counter service and the second one is the counter to service so here is the code this is the counter service and this is the counter to service now let's go to the home page of this application so here we are in the public components then the home and this is the home component over here we are using this counter service so far everything is working fine if i go to the browser it is working as expected because in the counter service we are increasing or decreasing the value by one okay let's go to the app module file so over here i'm going to just remove this counter service and use this counter service as a token this time over here now if i want to use the use factory like this then i have to create the instance of this particular class how can i do that like this so here you can see we are passing a function and in this function we are creating the instance of this counter service if you will touch the feature on the browser so far it is working fine and we are changing the value by one if you will write your code like this then there is no difference in writing your provider with this entire line or just using this counter service like this and this time i can comment this line so both of them are actually same now let's see when the change comes so at this time i'm having two services and let's say based on some condition i want to create the instance of these services let's say i have one more service that is the test service and in this test service i want to create one property first let's say it is status and it is of boolean type and the default value is false i have a requirement where if the value of this status is false then i want to create the instance of the counter service but if it is true then i want to create the instance of the counter to service let's see how can we use that this time i have to modify my logic over here and because we are using this use factory function and over here we are not passing any parameters this time we have to deal with the dependency of this test service and this particular field so we have to pass this test service as a parameter over here in this use factory parameters so let's say i'm writing test service just define the name like this and here i can write my condition what is the condition if the test service dot status if it is true then i want to create the instance of this counter service but if it is false then i want to create the instance of the counter to service perfect now let's save all the changes and just go back to the browser over here you will notice you are getting some error let's deal with the error here it is saying that cannot read properties of this undefined reading status so basically it is trying to read this status and it is undefined it means as of now this application does not know anything about this test service and we have to provide this test service over here how can we do that 
if you remember there was one more property with name depths this one and here we can provide our dependencies so this is the test service i can provide it like this over here so what we are doing we are basically using this counter service as a token and in this counter service we are using the use factory method this is the use factory method this use factory method has a dependency on this test service so we are passing it over here in this depths array and we are using this test service over here by using these parameters based on this parameter we are creating the instance of this counter service or this counter to service if this value is true then we will have the instance from this counter service if its value is false then we will get the instance from this counter to service let's go back to the browser and again we are getting an error that there is no provider for the test service so this is the test service that we want to use here let's define it in the providers array as well save the changes here you will notice that the error is gone and we are having the feature over here if i increase the value you will notice that we are getting it by 2 2 4 6 8 why because the value of that status is false that is why we are working with the counter to service see but if i am going to change that value so in the test service i am making it true save the changes this time you will notice that we will get the instance from the counter service and we will get the counter by one one two three like this this is how you can create the instance of your services based on some logic and because this logic is just a function so you can extract it from here and you can place it at some other place you can place it over here or you can also create a new file in your application and you can move that entire code over there so let's say here i'm writing counter factory dot ts and in this one i want to extract this entire code so i can cut it from here go back in this file just paste it and let's define it with a variable so here i'm writing const counter factory and let's import all of them like this so i want to use it in some other file so i have to use the export keyword and this is the counter factory that i can use go back over here just paste it like this and just import it like this now what we are doing we are importing this counter factory from this particular file let's test this feature the value of the status is true so we will get the instance from the counter service we are increasing the value by one it means it is the counter service let's make it false in the test service i can make it false save the changes go back to the browser and this time if i increase or decrease the value you will notice we are getting it by two you can also extract it further so basically if you want to extract only this particular code then you can do that also so i'm just cutting this line and over here i'm creating one more constant and just put it over here and we can simply use this particular constant at this place so again we are organizing our code in the better way save the changes go back to the browser again it will work perfectly fine what is the benefit of creating these variables separately if you want to use it at some other place then you can use them without defining multiple times